coalition of the willing to do what? <laughs> to come up with new ideas, to come up with a strategy, to you know, go it alone, mm -hmm. as long as you have Germany in, so that they can pay. Okay, I think that uh, I am agreeing with uh, Paolo that the problem is huge. Uh, maybe it is uh, the problem of the future of Europe. So we need uh, to find permanent permanent strategies. And I think that uh, there are two ways to face difficulties and problems. The first way is to wait, to keep, uh, to wait and to cover the problem under the carpet. The other way is to try to find uh, solutions, sometimes with risk and difficulties, but uh, to take initiatives with the dynamism in order to solve problems. So this is my strategy for my country's difficulties. I took the power in a very difficult time for Greece. I said before the financial crisis, the refugee crisis, in a very destabilized area, fragile area all around with an aggressive neighbor uh, and sometimes unpredictable with an aggressive military uh, activity in the Aegean, uh, with dogfights and over flights over our islands and so on, with violations of the international law, uh, with uh, open difficulties in uh, open issues as the Cyprus issue, mm. and with uh, all around uh, my country, especially in the south, in Libya, in Middle East, in Syria, uh, open issues and difficulties. So what was my uh, approaching in these problems? That Greece has to be part of the solution and not part of the problems. This was not every time easy internally. I had a very, uh, very difficult reaction from the opposition. I was the prime minister that I went three times in less of eight months in Turkey to discuss with Erdogan in a very difficult conditions. Eh? And uh, I tried, ah, Paolo remind me, the first meeting for the migrations in 2015 uh, that uh, Matteo tried to convince our partners that we have something to do with Libya. And I tried to, uh, to alarm that it's not only Libya that we have to cooperate with Erdogan, because the flows will come also from, from Turkey. And this happened uh, just uh, after that meeting with this uh, very difficult summer of 2015. I think that uh, we're obliged to take difficult uh, decisions, difficult decisions. And we have to admit that Europe and the so-called West world made mistakes in the past. Uh, in the war in uh, Iraq, in Libya, with the situation in Syria, with uh, uh, the difficulties to, 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 see, to show a decisive, uh, uh, a decisive stance in order to solve the Middle East problem, uh, of course, with the situation in Balkans and so on. So what we have to do now, I think, that it is to take brave decisions for the future. I believe that we have to uh, at least to decide in the European Union that the European Union is not a la carte. So if somebody believes that the uh, European Union is only for benefits, they have to understand that it is not. We have rules. When I was in the difficulties of the financial crisis, Mr. Schäuble told to everybody that rules are rules, that uh, pacta sunt servanda. So this is something that also my friend, uh, very close friend, uh, uh, Victor Urban, has to understand. Rules are rules. So uh, the problem is not a problem of Greece and Italy and Spain and, I don't know, uh, from... Uh, concrete uh, countries. This is a European problem. So we need, absolutely agreeing with you, we need a common European uh, migration and asylum policy. 
and we need to implement the agreements. The EU-Turkey agreement, it is a very difficult one. And it is a very difficult one if you want to implement the agreement uh, with, uh, uh, at the same time, to respect the international law, the Geneva Agreement, and so on. So we are trying to examine it one by one all the asylum applications. Um, well, it's also an agreement that huh? can. It's also an agreement where Turkey can change its mind. Of course. At any point. Of course. So at the same time, we have to take a decision what we're going to do with this aggressive behavior of Turkey. Eh? Uh, and for somebody, it's uh, very easy to be also aggressive if they are living in uh, Luxembourg or uh, in uh, Netherlands because uh, their neighbors are Belgium and uh, <laughs> Luxembourg <laughs> and not Turkey. But it's not so easy for us. Eh? But one, one, one thing I want to, to, uh, to add. The EU-Turkey agreement, it is difficult, but uh, it is a necessary agreement. Because, first of all, not we decrease the flows, we decrease the deaths in Aegean. This tragedy that we saw every day in Aegean with uh, uh, people uh, that uh, left their life in, uh, uh, on, on the waters uh, under the manipulation of the smugglers. So we have to hit the smugglers' networks and at the same time, we have to promote a common migration policy, and this means legal flows. Legal flows, not to stop the flows, not fences, as happened in our northern borders. Uh, because this is a policy that, uh, for my point of view, is a policy that uh, is not looking to the future. Well, more urgent uh, right now are uh, the conditions in detention camps in, uh, in Libya. Médecins Sans Frontières accuse, has accused the EU of feeding a criminal system of abuse. There are deals that have been made with militias in, in Libya. Um, many of you may have seen the CNN report about slave markets. Do you all feel that values of human rights are being compromised in order for Europe to have what we're calling the, tact the tactical 